نحمد و نسلی علیہ رسول الکریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی زدنی علما ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ فرام آیت نمبر تھرٹی ایٹ آف سورہ یاسین اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وَالشَّمْسُ تَجْرِي لِمُسْتَقَرِّ لَهَا ذَلِكَ تَقْدِيرُ الْعَزِيزِ الْعَلِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying وَالشَّمْسُ and the sun تَجْرِي runs لِمُسْتَقَرْ to a term appointed لَهَا for it ذَلِكَ that تَقْدِيرُ is the decree Al-Aziz of the Almighty Al-Alim, the All-Knowing. Now here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about sun. We have seen in ayat 37 that Allah told us different signs. That we see those signs and we ponder on it and we observe them. And as a result, we get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We came to know about Allah. We recognize Allah. We came to about powers of Allah. In the same way, in ayat 38, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pointing towards very powerful sign and that is sun. And what sign Allah is telling us of sun that he is running toward its destination that means till when the sun has to run how much to run and at what pace it has to run where it has to reach not only sun there are so many planets around sun sun take them along while running and there is a specific speed which sun is maintaining it is from whom it is from only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has precisely destined it with estimation in ayah 39 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying وَالْقَمَرَ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلَ حَتَّى عَادَكَ الْعُرْجُونِ الْقَدِيمِ وَالْقَمَرَ and the moon قَدَّرْنَاهُ we have ordained for it مَنَازِلَ phases حَتَّى until Ada it returns Kal or June like the date stock Al Qadim the old. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has determined phases for moon too. He has set milestone for moon that how moon has to complete its journey. That means when moon is at its peak and slowly slowly we see when it comes to an end it gradually becomes small and disappear and we see first moon is so thin so same like this allah has determined phases for moon too in ayat number 14 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying La, not a shamsu, the sun, Jambari, is permitted, laha for it, and that, tudrika, it overtakes al qamara the moon, wala, and not a layl, the night, sabiqun, outstrip, an nahar, the day, wa kullun, but all, fi, in, falakin, and orbit, yes, bahun, they are floating. That means no matter how much is the pace of sun, how fast is speed of sun, it can never happen that sun can catch moon and it also never has happened that instead of night it is day time or instead, instead of day it is night. That we sleep and morning did not come or day time never ended. But at a specific time, night started and at a specific time, day started. Sun goes at its own time and moon goes at its own time. And they all are in an orbit. 
it shows that everybody has its own circles and orbits and they are moving like they have a maintained speed and they are moving with it like you have seen that when something is floating in water that how it is moving it is moving with its speed same like that in our space all the planets in it they all are moving with their specific speed moving like floating like they are in water everybody has its own orbits their own phases no one enter in one and other orbit or no one came out of its orbit that one planet do not want to move in circle and it came out of it never happened like this or one planet wish to go into the orbit and it went inside the orbit nobody interfere in others matter everybody is performing its own duty that is why their journey is so smooth that it is why there is no clash among them there is no fighting among them and allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that it is not the sky that is moving these are the stars that are moving and this thing allah subhanahu wa taala has told us in quran 1400 years ago that kulla fi falaki yasbahun that all are floating in their own orbits that means if we feel that sky is moving so sky is not moving sky is at its place and this is very fantastic sign of allah and it is for us to that for what purpose allah has created us we should do it and secondly all the people around us like our father mother brother sister cousins they keep on doing their own work we fulfill the purpose for which allah has created us and they fulfill their own purpose nobody interfere in any one other's matter nobody has right to interfere in other matters and we tease them and if someone tease us we pray to god that please make it easy for us subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh